Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. I got the one. Hey, my name is Andy, and I'm going to walk you through a demo on how to move multiple members within an SPS dimension using a rules file. Often in your life as an SPS developer, you find yourself that having the need to rearrange or reorganize your dimension based on either a reorg in the company or just bad requirements were gathered at the time of coding. So in this case, um, I have this dimension in front of me. Straightforward, I have an account 100 and account 110, 120, 130. Underneath it, I have an account 200, an account 210, an account 300, an account 310, and 320. So I have created this data file, this comma separate data file, that indicates where I want to move stuff around. So if you see under account 100, I'm going to put account 210, under account 300, I'm going to put account 110 and 130. And under account 200, I'm going to have account 320. Straightforward, I have created this rules file that I opened this data file in. And I have just two columns in here, parent zero of accounts and child zero of accounts. What is important is under the dimension build settings, firstly, I choose the parent child references because that's what I'm going to use. And very important, make sure you choose allow moves and do not share. If you do not um, check the do not share, you will have shared members created as part of this move. So I save my rules file, and I go ahead and load the data. In this case, I'm just going to build. It's a data file. Pick my rules file. I pick my data file and say OK. Give it a minute to load, and success. Now this was my old outline. So if I open it now, I'm going to open an editor so we know the difference. Type vertical. And this is what my outline looks like now. Like you see, I moved to 10 under 100. I moved 210 under 100, whereas it, 210 was previously under 200. Similarly, I did for the rest. Now, you could do this for uh, two members. You could do it three members. You could do it as many members as there in the dimension. So this makes it a really fast way and really um, efficient way of loading this rather than doing this manually one by one. This ends my presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at my email address in front of you. Good luck.